Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Ciao an, ni haume, good afternoon everyone Today we meet together for discussing or talking about halal food introduction But before I present about halal food introduction, please let me introduce myself My name is Ari Firmansyah, I'm from Indonesia And now I'm a PhD student from Graduate Institute of Technology Management National Chungsing University And also, I'm a chairman of National Chungsing University Muslim Student Association Alright, and now I will introduce about my culture here My wearing traditional wear here I'm wearing a black cap here for a traditional praying for male in Indonesia and now officially government also admitted as official government official uniform for the government and uh, I'm wearing patik here and you know that United Nations has admitted has been admitted that patik as uh, international or global heritage from Indonesia and also I'm wearing a uh, sarung here for usually uh, to praying on uniforms Right, this is my short introduction about myself and my culture here. Yeah. And now we are going through to our presentation here. Yeah. Halal food introduction. What is halal food here? Yeah. And I will present from uh, Islamic cultural event uh, performed by OI and National Chungsing University and Taichung Islamic Center here. Yeah. Okay, according to halal logo, halal logo it uh, derived from Arabic characteristic halal. So if you find uh, this logo, so you can find this is halal food for Muslim or for everyone in Taiwan or in every country here. And what about definition of halal food? I refer to Food and Agricultural Organization of United Nations. Halal food means food permitted under the Islamic law and should fulfill the following conditions. Three things conditioned here. The first one does not consist or contain anything which is considered to be unlawful according to Islamic law like we can eat chicken, we can eat beef, we can eat a duck but we cannot eat sorry for the pork here and the second thing here has not been prepared, processed, transported or stored using an appliance or facility that was not free from anything unlawful according to Islamic law so if we are cooking and uh, we can mix uh, our cook here uh, with not halal food like uh, other, other uh, food here and the third thing here has not in the cost of preparation processing transportation or storage been in direct contact with any food so if we put uh, chicken or beef with uh, for the pop for example here so we are not allowed to to mix uh, from them so the plasma, this is a condition for uh, halal food in every countries here all right and if we concerned with research or studies about uh, halal food many studies and research in the world are talking about uh, halal food more than thousands here so everyone who want to concern with halal food uh, from economy from the business from technology we can uh, do research in halal uh, certification all right what about in taiwan halal food or halal in taiwan since 2017 Bureau of Foreign Trade of Ministry of Economic Affairs in Taiwan entrusted Taiwan External Trade Development Council to set up Taiwan Halal Center. It means that Taiwan country very concerned with halal food and halal cosmetic here. Even now, as there are 700 halal product manufacturers in Taiwan to serve the fast halal market. Wow, this is a very big potential market for everyone who want to do business in halal food in Taiwan. And uh, now Taiwan is uh, one of the most Muslim friendly country in the world so you can come to uh, check it here and uh, hence the Taiwan Halal Center has officially launched the Taiwan Halal products online show the tournament and there are six categories here for halal ingredients halal food the second thing halal health biotech the third thing halal cosmetics the fourth thing halal daily necessities and also other halal products so halal is not only for the foods but also for biotech for cosmetic and for daily necessities yeah all right 
and uh, for everyone who want to uh, business or who want to research for halal food or halal cosmetic or halal technology so they should go to Taiwan Halal Integrity Development Association to get certification here so TITA is a kind of organization to issue halal certification for everyone for every country or for every manufacturer or for an organization who want to research or to issue halal products here so we can check here TITA serves as a platform for more collaboration between government offices industry players and academic institutions promote legislation even to leading and getting toward latest technologies so if you want to get halal certification you can go to Taiwan Halal Integrity Development Association uh, we continue to the last presentation here I gave uh, some examples, other some examples for halal food here, especially from my country, from Indonesia. Uh, now we can see that this is a snack for uh, Islamic celebration. We collect pandan sweet sticky rice. From the name, so you can uh, find uh, ingredient. This is uh, fully from uh, sticky rice and with a pandan leaf. And this is uh, this is very very uh, very nice to to eat. Not not too sweet, not too sweet, but uh, very. Uh, uh, was it uh, delicious for everyone? So, Taiwanese, uh, Indonesian, or or other other countries people can eat this one. Okay, the second thing here, seasoned fried vegetables. Uh, from the name, you can find mostly ingredient for for this stack is from vegetables, and uh, from vegetables we put the season uh, pouring with the season uh, recipes and we fried it only maybe uh, less than uh, one or two minutes then we can eat with uh, chili here see you can see uh, the chili and also uh, for the uh, sauce here uh, chicken sauce here. so uh, it can you can you can eat this one with a coffee or with drinking a tea in the afternoon or in the morning for uh, for all the people and the last uh, this presentation for halal food example sweet coconut rolls it derived from coconut with uh, sugar and also uh, this cookies for Islamic slave person also or if we have a guest to come to our uh, our home or our house so we will pre prepare this one specially for our guests so everyone you can try this and you can uh, try this food and very very tasty and delicious okay uh, this is my presentation and thank you for your attention and uh, Shishini, Shukran, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.